Hello everyone and welcome to this short video on relative joint motion. My name is Dr. Darren Smith and in this quick video we're going to take a look at what relative motion is and does for the body. So here let's take a look at what relative internal rotation could be composed of. So I'm going to fix the femur and then I internally rotate the tibia on the femur. That gives us tibial internal rotation. Can you think of four other ways to get this internal rotation position? In addition to moving the tibia on a fixed proximal femur, we could also take the proximal femur and externally rotate it on a fixed distal tibia. This would place the tibia in a position of relative internal rotation to the femur. Both the proximal and distal bones can move in the same direction of internal rotation, but the distal bone, the tibia, would move faster and further than the proximal. Or both the proximal and distal bones can move in the same direction into external rotation, but the proximal femur would move faster and further than the distal tibia, which would place the tibia in a position of relative internal rotation. And lastly, both segments could move in opposition. The clinical gem here is that these options allow for the same osteokinematic, which in this case, internal rotation, to occur utilizing different strategies and or joint sequencing based on the top-down or bottom-up driving that you're looking to have take place. Here at the channel, we're dedicated to establish and foster a positive interprofessional environment in which learning can occur regardless of your profession and or previous training. If you've used this type of approach with success, let us know in the comments below. Please help spread the word to your healthcare movement colleagues looking to incorporate more evidence-based training research application into their own practice. As always, if you like what you see here, please subscribe and join our YouTube channel community where the number one goal is improving the lives of those we serve. A big thanks for hanging out with us today. See you in the next video.